In this video, I'm gonna be explaining why going below 2,000 calories is probably not a great idea for most men in the longer term. You can spend a little bit of time below 2,000 calories right at the end of a cut, but for most people, it's gonna to be too low to sustain and you're gonna miss out on a lot of areas of life. So in this video, I'm gonna be explaining how you fix this in the long term, build that metabolism up so that you don't have to cut on as such low calories. I bet you thought that was a V-shred video for a second with the intro being topless. Don't worry, it's too cold over here to actually do this video topless, so I'm gonna have to put a few more layers on. But I'm just gonna tell you a story quickly about how I had my calories way too low at one point and what it is actually gonna do to you long-term, how it will hold you back from getting the physique that you're looking for. So when I first did my cut, my initial cut, I was doing a lot of cardio, maybe four or five hours of cardio a week alongside my weights. And what was happening here was I was getting impatient with the amount of body fat I was losing. Uh, and then from there, I felt like I had to keep lowering my calories sub 2000, so I'm getting to like 1900 calories. Some days were like 1850. And the problem with this is you have no room to maneuver. So if you're watching this and you are not happy with how much muscle mass you have, and you've dieted down to the point where your metabolism is lower because your body reduces the calories it's burning as your body weight comes down. Now you're at a point where you're having less than 2000 calories a day, but you're not actually either, either you're not losing any more body fat or now that you've dieted down and you've lost that body fat, you just don't look as muscular as you hoped and you don't have that lean aesthetic physique that you were picturing. You've actually just got to the point where you've dieted down and you're skinny. And the problem with this is you've got to think long-term. So yes, in the short term, if you go into a gaining phase, if you prioritize building muscle for a few years, um, you are gonna to have to sacrifice being shredded or not looking really lean. But if you haven't built that muscle first, then it, there's no point going on these aggressive dieting phases where your calories become so low because you cannot sustain it in the long term. So by going through these gaining muscle phases, these lean bulks, you are effectively building up your metabolism over a longer period of time, which then allows you to cut on, on higher calories next time. So each time you do a bulk, the goal of that is building up your strength and the weights you're lifting to the point where your calorie burn is higher and then next time you cut down you might be able to cut on say 2200 calories and then 2400 calories the year after that and this is what I found myself so the first cut I had to go down to 1850 1900 and I was dying I was really struggling and um, it impacted my work you know my energy level was my mood and people don't really consider this, you know, it's not sustainable. So what I then did was I accepted that I'm gonna not be as lean, I'm gonna go on a long-term bulk, gain 15 kilos, you know, over 30 pounds, 33 pounds. And then from there, I'm able to actually build up my calorie burn to the point where now on this cut that I'm nearly finished with, I'm able to stay around 2,200 calories rather than having to go to 18, 1,900. So you can see that Putting that effort into a long-term gaining phase really pays you off in the long term, and this is gonna prevent you having to diet down crazily low. I can promise you, if you're a guy watching this, unless you weigh about 50 kilos, you know, really, really light, and your calorie burn is gonna be light, uh, lower, for most people, you know, seven, 1,700, 1,800 calories is not sustainable. And if you're watching this, you're probably not looking to compete in bodybuilding anytime soon. So if you're not a bodybuilder, you don't wanna step on stage, you're just someone that wants to get in shape, which most of us are, I'm never gonna probably compete, it's not really for me. There's only those certain cases where you wanna go down to crazy low you know, body fat levels, um, crazy low calories and that, when they do that, the bodybuilders, they're only doing that for a temporary period of time for a few weeks to get the last bit of body fat off. For you watching this, you do not need to be going to say 17, 1800 calories and you've got to think longer term. If you want to build muscle mass, maintain it for life, you know, more muscle you build now, the easier life gets in older age, the more muscle mass you can maintain as you get older and the easier it is going to be to stay in shape, the more you can eat out, the more flexibility you have with your diet, if you put the effort in now into a long-term gaining phase. So I can tell you with my experience, you know, I was going too long calories, trying to, trying to go aggressively lean, um, up in my activity levels, and when you get to this point where you're doing five hours of cardio a week, and your calories are below 2,000, you do not have any more room to go on your metabolism, and you have to then consider ending the fat loss phase, gradually building up the calories 
to a more sustainable number, going to maintenance calories and then into a small calorie surplus to make sure that you are then building up that metabolism, building the muscle mass so that next time you diet down, you're gonna look more muscular, you're gonna have more muscle, you, it's less painful because you don't have to diet on really low calories. You can keep the calories above 2000, look even leaner, look even more shredded because you've built the muscle first. So take my advice, don't go crazy low on calories. Um, and if you're watching this and you're already on those stupidly low calories, let go of the fact that you're not gonna be lean muscular and looking at your end physique right now and play the long game. Trust me, I've been there. Um, and doing that long-term gaining phase has helped me massively in terms of making each cut a bit easier than the last. I hope you found those tips useful. If you did, drop it a like, subscribe to the channel, and then I'm gonna break down how you actually go about a lean bulk and, and things like calorie targets in future videos. For now, just a rem reminder to, you know, life is a lot more important than just dieting down to unsustainable calories. You're gonna miss out on meals out with friends. You're not gonna have those social events and it's just not really worth it. So drop a video, like, subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one. Have a great day.